Oh, oh, Will, you're so upset. Come here. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. And take this with you. And don't bring your black ass back to Bel Air. What's up, y'all? Movies, music, sports, and life. This is Jay Sproul. And, uh, I had to come back, man. I, uh, I did a review. I didn't really get the views that I got on the first one that I did. And I, uh, I kind of feel like I possibly didn't get the views because I was being kind of negative about the situation. And I think as a YouTuber, I don't really consider myself a YouTuber. I've I've had my channel for about 10 years now. You know, I should have way more subscribers, but I just don't dedicate myself to it like I see other people do. But for these purposes, I would still consider myself a YouTuber since I have close to 200 videos. You can't allow your personal feelings to get in the way of just reviewing the art. So, yeah, I was real negative. I was saying it, it was one of the worst um, season finales of a new episode ever. And I'm going to chill. I'm going to come up off of that. And just really focus on one interesting angle. Um, before I get on that angle, I will say that... I do not think that Marlon Wayans did a bad job with his acting. I just feel in classic sense, it was a classic case of what did you really give Marlon to do as his dad? He came back to, well, not back to, he came to LA from Philly got along with will for a little while then didn't get along with him cussed him out will cussed him out and he threatened to hurt will by leaving again and not coming back i thought that was stupid he just barely got to know you how is it gonna devastate him if you leave again you know it will just confirm the negative feelings he already had towards you but the way that they built that up over numerous episodes it wasn't just one episode over numerous episodes they had all of us thinking that either he had messed with a child he had killed somebody um what else really bad could he could he have done um maybe the, that he had multiple children that were Will siblings that he never met, cheated on his wife, whatever. They even said, if Will finds out about this, he'll never forgive us. And it ended up being so anticlimactic because all it was is that Lou went to jail and they hid that. It was just very frustrating that they didn't put more thought into that aspect of the show and i really felt like they probably could have uh, reached out to Issa ray from insecure because i think she's a better writer than whoever is writing this stuff for bel air bel air bel air i feel like east is a better writer and they could take some notes from her all right so let me just get into the cool part about this episode or the thing that I think you guys might have missed. So Carlton, this is a young brother from Houston, Texas. Forgive me for not remembering his real name, 
but he's from Houston. I believe he is of African descent. At minimum, he probably went to high school in Houston and grew up American, but maybe both of his parents are African. You guys were, and I say you guys as if I'm not a part of it, you guys hated his character to a level other than Tariq when he got his little baby sister shot on power I've never seen people hate a character as much as you guys hated Carlton I don't know when these episodes were filmed but it almost felt like the directors did some reshoots and said we can't have everybody hating this character like this so they decided that we got to do some things to improve the perception of Carlton so hey he can sing he's talking to black people at the house party that we will through for him he's been accepting of Lisa and Will's relationship. He's breaking down in Will's arms about his social anxiety. They do a lot of stuff. But here's where all that turns back around. As Will is looking, excuse me, as Carlton is looking at a portrait that his mom, Viv, painted of will he tells his baby sister the 12 year old uh you know i think mom did a really good job on this portrait of will but you know i, I don't understand the crown thing i mean what's the crown about and the 12 year old and in her infinite wisdom says <laughs> Looks like somebody wasn't guarding their kingdom strong enough and walked off. That little off putting comment, possibly innocuous comment, throwaway comment, however you want to look at it, that rocked Carlton to the core. Because I think at that moment he realized that he had been so supportive of Will to try to change things around and possibly to, to be a good son to his mom and dad who asked him to embrace Will he realized at that moment his younger sister had more foresight or knowledge than he did that you just friendly your way into your cousin taking your spot in that family and in that household so his wheels started turning. He didn't say a word. But look at three key moves he did after this. The final one is what I was making fun of before the start of the video. But the first one, he went and got that paperwork. To prove to you that we don't operate the same as we normally do in normal circumstances when we're dealing with emotions. Instead of being angry that Carlton went and got this paperwork, even though he physically said out of his mouth, I told your dad and Jeffrey I didn't want to see this. Carlton casually takes it upon himself to tell him the contents. Like, no, you need to hear this. So he know that he knew that that planted a seed in Will's mind. So Lisa is trying to contact Will because they're supposed to have a lunch date. And Lou shows up, so he's spending time with his pops. Lisa thinks that Will stood her up as he's trying to win her back. So table that for a second. You got to keep that in mind. Carlton and his master plan comes in after that. 
and is crying. He's trying to win an Oscar of acting so devastated. Oh, I skipped a part. I skipped a part. He's acting so devastated that Will is gone. And I'm crying. I need you to help me find him. He's the only one in the family who believes in me. Who uh, never turned on me or whatever he's saying. And he has Lisa's empathy because she likes the fact that in in her perception Carlton cares about Will and doesn't see him any longer as competition for her love and affection but also that he's being open and vulnerable about his anxiety which even if she doesn't want to be with him anymore she has always cared about that aspect of Carlton's life and tries to do anything she can not to trigger that part of him but the key part that I left off and no one really seemed to notice this but when Will was standing in front of his adopted family speaking in accusatory tones about how they never cared about him Carlton goes in for the hug and drops a money clip that money clip had no less than a thousand dollars in it and he put it in his pocket Carlton wants that fool gone out of that house and he is hoping that his thousand dollar contribution to the get the hell out of my house fund he's hoping that it's well received and well respected by Will and that's the only reason that you're gonna give somebody that much money is you're hoping that it's enough for that one-way ticket to Philly enough to go to Geno's in Philly and get you a cheesesteak and buy you another classic throwback Allen Iverson jersey you can do all that as long as you don't come back to Bel Air I hope next season is better but I do think overall it was very ambitious and they did a great job of reimagining something that when we watched it, it was all fun and games.